Hello everyone, I'm Fiona Sanderson. I'm one of the ARIA developers at Instruct Eric. Um, as part of Corbel Work Package 5, which covers user access, um, ARIA is facilitating the proposal submission process, the peer review process, and the visit management process for Corbel projects, um, which are going to be using our bespoke access management software, ARIA. That stands for Access to Research Infrastructure Administration. We covered the peer review process in a separate webinar yesterday, which is going to be available online shortly. Um, and today we're going to be looking at the visit management process, specifically how to carry out technical evaluations, how to manage a visit, leave feedback and how to send messages. So most of you watching this webinar should have already registered for an ARIA account. ARIA currently supports user authentication uh, either via a ARIA account, via an umbrella ID, which is mainly for users of Proton or Neutron facilities, or via an institutional account uh, for institutions that use Edugame. If you use your institutional account, that can be beneficial because you won't need to remember an additional password to log in. Um, and institutional accounts can be used during registration or you can link them to an existing ARIA account. In ARIA, we use standardized terms in our workflow, and I'm going to go through some of those just so that we have a, a shared understanding of the terms that I'm using. Um, so scientific review, we reserve the word review for the process of scientific peer review of a submitted proposal. The word evaluation is reserved for technical evaluation, even though it is actually a review. Um, so this is where uh, the service provider comments on the technical feasibility of the proposal, including the availability of the requested resources. The moderator in your case will be Marie Frauke or Serena, um, and their role within the proposal will be to select appropriate reviewers, oversee the scientific peer review, and ultimately decide, based on those reviews, whether a proposal will be accepted or rejected. And the moderator should be your first port of call for any queries relating to a proposal you've been asked to evaluate. Service technology is the uh, term given to the service that a user selects to apply for in their proposal. For a Corbel proposal, there must be at least two service technologies selected from two different research infrastructures. Access or visit are used interchangeably, and this refers to the use of uh, the service technology by a user. Each visit is given a visit ID or VID, and again, a Corbel proposal will have at least two visits. Uh, service providers are the people who run a service technology and the people at whom this webinar is being uh, based. Um, they will provide the technical evaluation of the proposal and will manage the visit to their service technologies. The user should already be in contact with the service providers for those service technologies requested in their Corbel proposal. So this is an overview of the workflow uh, in ARIA. You saw um, a similar workflow um, in Marie's presentation, but this is slightly more ARIA specific. Um, it shows all the steps that successful proposals go through. So first of all, the user submits the proposal into the ARIA system. The proposal is allocated a unique identifier called a PID, proposal ID, and this appears alongside the proposal throughout the system. Um, the proposal is then allocated a single moderator who selects three peer reviewers who perform the scientific review of the proposal. For each visit or access associated with the proposal, there will then be a technical evaluation step. So a proposal which has three visits will have three separate technical evaluations performed by the service providers for each visit. The service providers then arrange and schedule the visit. Um, or the remote provision of the service, um, mark the visit as completed and note the number of days or equivalent effort that the visit required. After completion, feedback is requested both from the user and from the service provider. In this webinar, we're going to be focusing on the aspects of technical evaluation, visit management and feedback within the ARIA system. So first things first, you need to locate the ARIA admin panel, very important. When you've logged into ARIA via the structuralbiology.eu website, you should see a bar appear at the bottom of the screen while on any of our pages. You click on the central button here on this bar marked your admin to reach the administrative pages in ARIA.
the menu on the left hand side here should allow you to navigate within the admin panel. The menu split into five tabs. The tab which contains all of the options to do with visit management is the third tab, which has a picture of a building on it. That's called the facility tab. And when you click on that tab, how much you're going to be able to see will depend upon your role within the ARIA system. If you're a service provider, then your menu will probably look something like this. Um, you select the external access option here to see the two possible visit display pages access dashboard and list all access. The access dashboard page will look something like this. Now this displays all visits that have been approved. Each box here is a visit and uh, you'll see PID, BID, uh, and this is where the proposal title is displayed. Uh, this here is the um, service technology for the visit. And you'll also see the proposal owner and the proposal principal investigator here. So there's two columns on this page. The column on the left is new visits and the columns on the right uh, is ongoing visits. So on the left, you've got visits which have, um, which for which technical evaluation has not been completed. And when it is completed, they'll move over to the right hand column here to be planned and carried out. Um, if you notice here at the top, there's also filters so you can limit your display by PID, by VID, by a center, by a user, by access routes such as callable access track one, two, three, four or five. Um, and you can also quite critically select the show pending review box. Um, and that will um, display visits which have been but not yet reviewed. And those will be marked with a message that says scientific review pending. You can only see visits here that you have the correct permissions to see. So any visits involving your facility, if your role is a service provider. View proposal, this button here, will give you a pop out of the submitted proposal with the option to print or export the proposal as a PDF. Um, and the icon here um, will give you a pop out window um, displaying the proposal scores uh, form, which will show you comments that will include the scores and comments from the scientific review process and any comments by the moderator. The technical evaluation, once it's been completed, will also be displayed in that form. The other visit management page that's available to you is list all access. That's here on the left. Um, and this lists each visit uh, with a table visit instead. So again, you can only see uh, the visits that concern your facility. And again, there's filters up here at the top. Uh, so this table shows all approved visits, completed visits and closed visits, same way as the access dashboard. And um, the main difference between these displays is, is just the, dis uh, between these pages is just the display, but you can also export this table uh, in a CSV or PDF format or print it off. So if we move on to technical evaluation, at the point at which you're selected to evaluate a proposal, ARIA sends out two emails, one to the user, and there's an example of how that looks on the left, and one to the service providers, and there's an example of that on the right here. Um, the email will contain a direct one-click link, which is outlined here, uh, and that will take you to the page uh, on which you must enter the technical evaluation. The page can also be navigated to in the admin panel of ARIA, but this link will let you um, conveniently navigate from your email inbox. So if you click on that link, that will take you to the access detail page. There's a screenshot of that here. That's a really critical page for visit management, and there's a number of steps that you can do here, so we'll be looking at it in some detail. Um, but right now, what you can see is the technical evaluation form with the options that have previously been discussed. The Corbel guidelines for technical evaluation are downloadable from, from the Corbel project website. I've included a link here if you want to um, review some of the um, additional information on each field. Um, there's two extra actions that can be carried out on this page. Uh, in the top right here, uh, you'll see buttons. The orange button generates a message to the user, and we'll look at that in more detail uh, in a bit. And the blue button will display the proposal again, so you can easily review the 
This is an evaluation. If you don't think that the visit is suitable for whatever reason, please don't cancel the visit. There's a cancel visit option at the bottom of the screen. You can't see that right now. Um, but just indicate the proposal isn't viable within this form and the moderator will take action on that. So, as I mentioned, the email link is not the only way to reach this. To navigate to it from the access dashboard page or the list all access page that we looked at. So I've got a video on how to do that here. So again, uh, in the middle facilities tab, you have the external access uh, menu item, select access dashboard here, and we'll see that page displayed. From here, you can select the status name, i.e. technical evaluation, or the access detail button here. Both of those will take you to the access detail page, which is being displayed. And that's the form. So alternatively, you can select the list all access page link on the left hand side and see the table view. There's a column on the far right called actions here, and that will show you a drop down menu of actions that you can take. So if we go to view, that again will take you to the access detail page. There you go. Um, so it's just simply a case of just filling in that form and submitting it, and that's the technical evaluation. So if we move on from that, and we'll move into visit management. Uh, so visits can either be physical or remote at this step in the workflow, and this is set per machine. Deciding uh, whether a visit is physical, where a user is actually going to go to a node, or remote, where a user won't be physically visiting, but might, for example, send a sample in, is done in the machine configuration form. And I'm just gonna show you a quick video on how you set that. So that form is found in the final tab, uh, which is the configuration tab. It might look a little bit different depending on your permissions, but if you're a center contact of any kind, you'll be able to go to machine method and edit machine method as this video is doing. Uh, so from here, you'll be able to select the relevant machine. And on the right hand side, button you can go to edit. There we go, and that'll take you to the edit machine method form page and you can select what kind of visit you'd like users to be able to make. You can choose remote or both. And if it's both, then the user is going to be able to choose their preference in the proposal form. So let's look at visit management in a bit more detail. So for physical visits, there'll be three possible steps. Add select machine methods, awaiting visit date confirmation and complete access. Uh, add select machine method is an optional step. For Corbel proposals, are always given the option to select specific machines during proposal submissions. If users choose to do this, then those machines are automatically going to appear on the access detail page, but it's not enforced for users. So if users haven't selected a machine or methods, then the service providers will need to do so at that point. So I'll show you again a video of this taking place. So we're going to select the access detail page from the access dashboard. Notice that now the technical evaluation is complete, the visits move to the right hand column and the status tech now says access ongoing. Uh, so you see that the technical evaluation step is crossed out and the date that this was submitted is listed. Is it a machine needs to be added from this drop down list here of machines associated with the service technology? I think we're going to add one now. There we go. Um, so you can then move on to the next step, which is awaiting visit date confirmation. Um, so here you should be entering the agreed date that the user is going to be visiting your facility in the calendar drop down. Hopefully the video will get to any minute now. A bit slow. There we go. So you should have already been in contact with the users, but you can also use the um, 
contact user button at any point, which is the orange button on the right hand side, to generate a message using the internal ARIA messaging system. I think this video is going to show you how to do that in a second as well. There we go, contact user there. And a new message. And I'll show you some of the options um, towards the end of this webinar for that. So the final step is the complete access step for physical visits, that is. Um, here you need to enter the number of days or equivalent effort that the visit requires. And it's worth noting that if you've added multiple machines to a visit, uh, then you need to carry out the visit date confirmation and the complete access step for each machine. So for remote access, the visit management steps look a little different. There are three default steps to carry out that ARIA generates for remote access, but these are configurable. And those steps are awaiting sample, processing sample, and delivering results. A video on how to complete those steps. So from the access dashboard, we'll pick another visit. The status text has now changed to awaiting sample, which is green. So let's go into the access detail page. Uh, in the access detail page, you'll see the steps correspond to the remote steps that I just listed. Uh, they're very simple um, text boxes, basically. Um, they're mainly used just to capture the dates at which the steps took place. And you can add a useful comment if you like. See that taking place there. The user can also see on their ARIA dashboard how far along the visit is through these steps because they can see as the steps are marked as completed. The final step here, delivering results, is comparable, comparable to the complete access step for a physical access visit. So it asks for, asks for units of access used by the visit in the same way. OK, so those are the default steps that ARIA creates for remote access, but those can also be configured to be meaningful for your node. And I'll show you how to set that up here. So if we select the configuration tab with the cog icon there and the machine method menu option, um, select edit machine method, and you'll see all the machines that you have permission to edit. Um, search for a machine. And if the machine has been configured for remote access, then you'll get a drop down option available in the right hand action column, which is called remote access config. And that will take you to a page that displays the remote access steps. Some of these are compulsory, such as uh, technical evaluation and access feedback. But this video should show you how to change a step name. It's doing there and you can also change the step color if that's something that would be helpful for you. You can change the order of the steps around as well and you can also delete steps. Steps always have a small comment field associated with them and they'll always display the dates in which they're completed because that's quite useful information. The final step will always ask for units of access as well. So um, it's worth making sure that you keep at least one step. So let's move on. We're going to look very briefly at how to make changes to your visit as well. In the access detail page, you can cancel a machine if it's no longer associated with the visit. Like that. That can't be reinstated, but you can add another machine from the uh, add select machine method box on the right hand side. Uh, you can also cancel the whole visit, although it's often easier if the proposal moderator does this if it's needed. And we would ask that you talk to them first. If you do need to, you can leave a comment to explain why the visit's been cancelled. That's what's happening there. 
And you can also reinstate the visit using the button in the bottom right hand corner there. You can also modify some of the dates associated with a visit. If you go to the access dashboard, each visit box has an additional orange button with a little house icon, and that takes you to the edit visit page, of which there's a screenshot here. Permission to this page is restricted to service technology managers, the Corbel management team, and the ARIA hub. So if you don't have access to this page, but you'd like changes to be made, we would recommend discussing that with the proposal moderator. So very briefly, the top area of the page, this section here, is where you can make changes to the visits. You can edit the service technology type and the service technology, but any changes to that will roll the visit back to either uh, the awaiting visit confirmation step or the first remote access step. You can change the confirm date here. Um, that's the date that the technical evaluation was completed. And the completed date here is generated automatically once the final step of the visit is completed. The bottom area of the form uh, is where you can make changes to um, associated machine dates. If you have multiple machines in a visit, you'll have multiple um, copies of this bit of the form. So the confirmed visit date is the date that the first step is completed for that machine method. And the completed date here, uh, is the date that the final step is completed for that machine or method. And when you're editing these options, you get a drop down calendar option. So you can select a new date or you can just clear that field completely, which will roll the visit back. So the final stage in our workflow is feedback. Once a visit's taken place, both users and service providers should fill in the feedback report in ARIA. And that's very straightforward to do. I'll just show you again another video here. Just navigate to the access dashboard or as always list all access page if you prefer and select the access detail button of a visit. Um, go to the access feedback bar that's always purple and just fill in the comment fields. For Corbel, there's just one comment field to complete, so it's very quick. But Corbel are going to be asking for additional feedback outside of ARIA. I believe that's mainly in survey form. After feedback is received, that visit is then closed. There are no more actions to be done and it will no longer be displayed in the access dashboard page, although you can uh, check the show close button if you really want to see them. So lastly, I just want to very quickly mention the messaging system in ARIA. In most of the pages we've looked at today, you'll see small orange buttons, oh, sorry, such as these. Um, in the list all access page, one of the possible actions is to contact user, and that basically does the same thing, which is to generate the pop-up window, uh, allowing you to write a message to the user. Just going to another video here. The subject heading is automatically generated to be the visit ID, the proposal ID and the proposal title. Uh, and do note that access administrators, so the Corbel admin team here, are also going to be able to see these messages. So they're not completely private. You can view your messages by searching the message button at the top of the admin panel. Users receive email notifications of new messages, but at the moment that isn't happening instantaneously as they go out every couple of days. If you have new messages waiting to be read, uh, there'll be a green button with a number next to the message icon. And you can see that in that screenshot there. So just keep an eye on that. And that's everything that we're going to cover today. Um, if you need any further help with ARIA, the first place to look should be our help guide pages where there's a number of guides on performing actions in ARIA. There's a link to where you'll find those just here. Uh, we'll also be publishing these webinars we mentioned already, so you can view them again. And we gave a more top-down overview of ARIA as part of the Corbel webinar series earlier this year, which is worth a look if you're interested. Um, that can be found on the Corbel website or on the Instruct ERIC website. If you can't find what you need or you encounter any technical issues when you're using ARIA, do contact us. Um, we've got our email address just here. It's aria at structuralbiology.eu.